Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. It's awesome that you're joining me once again. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Late last night, November 27th, there uh, near Peach Land, Canada, and a magnitude 3.4 earthquake. It occurred at 11.19 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, it's, it struck approximately 10 kilometers southeast of Peachland in the region district of British Columbia. Um, it was close to the uh, Chute Lake area and was at a shallow depth of 3.8 kilometers or 2.4 miles. Surprisingly, there hasn't been any aftershocks. It was given an intensity level of 5, which means they're damaged. If you have damage and you're watching this video, please put those uh, reports down below. I would really love to read them, and so would others here. Intensity level 5 means it was a moderate earthquake felt by nearly everyone. Um, you know, dishes, windows might have broken. Unstable object overturned. 482 people sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. It was felt as far as Vancouver, which would be a little more than 146 miles. So that's a while. Um, you, you can see here, this is the border. Yeah, with uh, the state of Washington. We do have followers um, that live up there in Canada. Let's see, we'll zoom in. Okay, this was intensity level. Uh, five and there was one report there. I'm sure there's more, but most people probably didn't send in the reports. Five reports, intensity level four, closer to the epicenter. Um, twenty nine. Yeah, that's a that's a wow. Let's see, we got another forty four report. Oh my goodness, and then another twenty four from there. So that would be the Kelowna area, maybe the South Kelowna area, and Greta, it looks like, in the Greta Valley. This is an area where the uh, Juan de Fuca Plate so ducks under the uh, North American Plate, the Pacific Plate. Um, but more than likely, this is an area of an unknown fault. Let me bring it out. Some of the farther reports said that there was rumbling, um, followed by a thud. And it lasted about one to five seconds. Vibration resembling a heavy truck passing by or an explosion. Uh, of course, the windows rattled, the walls rattled, or furniture might have moved. There was one report from Peachland that said that they felt the vibration coming up from the ground. And it went through their whole body as if they had been sitting in a hot tub. Also saying that there was a loud sound and a large jolt with light shaking afterward, and they thought a car had hit their garage. There was also a lot of reports of people saying that it woke them up. Many reports that they uh, felt or heard a thud, and it startled their, their pets. The shallow depth of this earthquake did amplify the shaking locally. And, you know, normally earthquakes below a magnitude 4 aren't felt. But because it was so shallow, there was a lot of reports. Just another indication that tension has built. Um, there's been a lot of co uh, earthquakes along the entire West Coast. Ever since they had that 6.0 up there in Alaska, closer to Alaska, we got um, a 3.6. Now that one was uh, 6.2 miles in depth. And if we zoom into... Uh, uh, California. They don't sh really show anything for the uh, Washington or Portland area, but yeah, there's been a lot of them along the west coast of California. All the way down to uh, San Diego. The last earthquake report that I did, that I posted, uh, there was a quake that was uh, felt all the way down to San Diego. And then we got one here. Let me click on that one. Um, Let's see, in Mexico, a 3.0. Yellowstone has also been rocking. We got a 1.1, Mammoth, Wyoming. Let's see, a 0 0.1. Uh, what's the largest that we got? Looks like that's probably the largest within the last 24 hours. 
that USGS is reporting. But as you know, USGS doesn't report all the earthquakes. I would like to know if you felt this earthquake up there in Canada. Um, what did it feel like? How long did it last? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.